Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Fat Ninja, and today I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on this little laser transition in my Christmas OC. And there it is. It's pretty cool and pretty creative, and you can add some pretty cool effects to it to make it customized to your own preferences and everything. So what you're gonna need is two clips. So as you see, I have two clips here. It's just it's the same clips that I used from the Christmas OC. Like it's actually one clip, but it's just further down in the clip, and I didn't feel like um, making him like speed speed run to the um, the part where you, part where I got this part part where I got this feed or whatever that's what I'm trying to say but um so I just had this nice little transition so I'm gonna go over it really quickly so what you need is your clip you like your first part of your first clip or your first part of your clip and then twixter to the part where you want it to uh, have the transition and then what you're gonna want to do is have a second clip bring it on top uh, no sorry bring it on the bottom then what you want to do is hit Control Shift D. Sorry, don't do that. For some reason, when I record a Camtasia, it gives me a marker. So you can hit Control Shift D if you want, but what I'm going to do to avoid that, I'm just going to hit Control D to duplicate the layer, and then Alt Left Click to um, what's that called? To trim the layer. So now it's basically the exact same thing. It's just hitting Control Shift D, but I have to do a few more steps. So now what you want to do is you want to go to Proportional Grid, and you want to make a new solid. Let's call this laser. Then you're gonna go effects and presets and type in beam. So generate beam, drag it on, and then you want to make sure both these are at 640 for the X position. Okay, then what you can do is drag um, the starting point up and the ending point up as well. So just drag it like that. You want them to be somewhat close, so that's good. Then we'll make the length um, 100%. Uh, you, can only, you can only do 100. Then go to start and end in point. And then you can change the colors and everything if you want, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to make the thickness a bit bigger. So 12. Then I'm going to go over 40 keyframes. I mean, you can do that by holding Control, Shift, and the right arrow key. So 1, 2, 3, 4. It goes over 10 keyframes every single time. Then end in point. So you didn't actually need a keyframe to start in point. And the ending point, just drag it all the way down. So there we go. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over two, uh, 20 keyframes. Go, go, go back 20 keyframes, sorry. So I'm going to control shift, left arrow key twice. Then what I'm going to do is grab my rectangle tool. And you can, if you can't find it, just hold this. And then the rectangle tool will be there. And I'm just going to mask out half the left half of the clip. And you, the, um, the beam is going to help you out to find the left half. Then what I'm going to do is go on the layer, control D, and make the second one subtract. So let's name the first one, hit enter to rename it left, and the second one, let's rename it to right. Then we're going to hit P for position, keyframe position, make it a 3D layer, hit R, um, yeah, hit R, keyframe the Y rotation, and there it is, hit U hit U and then hit U again here for the second one now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over 40 keyframes so one two three four and one second I just I don't know what I just did I'm just gonna turn off my proportional grid for a second uh damn it oh there we go okay I'm just gonna adjust my uh, keyframe for my beam because I want it to make sure that when it gets to this keyframe that it's exactly like at the it just gets there like I don't want it to be there earlier so it just gets there okay there we go so I'm just gonna go to one I'm just gonna trim the layer so it's out of the way and there we go okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my first keyframes with uh, first keyframe with my uh, left and right layer and I'm going to go over 30 keyframes so control shift right arrow key three times one two three then what I'm going to do is hit Y rotation I'm going to make it uh, did I have more I'm just trying to remember I think it's at 72 that's the number I used I don't remember I don't know why I remember that so 72 on the right one and negative 72 on the left one and then position on the left one, let's make it, sorry, not that one. Make it 
uh, so 640 to 420, that's 220 back. So subtract 220 on the left one, and then add 220 on the right one. So 660, 860, so 860 on the right one, and then 220, uh, 420 on the left one. And uh, I think that is the values I use for the rotation. I'm pretty sure. I'm just going to make it a, a bit less. I think I'm going to put 60, see how that works. Yeah, that looks fine. And then negative 60 here. Okay, now I'm going to go over um, three, 30 more keyframes. So control shift, right arrow key three times. One, two, three. Then I am going to make the position completely off the screen. So it's going to be zero for this one. And then this one, it will be 640 times two, so 1280. And now they're completely off the screen. So now we can cut these layers and cut these layers and we can easy ease the keyframes if you want to so click F9 but since I'm using Contagia that will end my recording so I'm just gonna right click and keyframe assistant easy ease and I'm gonna do it for this one as well oh shit I didn't keyframe the Y rotation one second yeah now it just looks dumb uh, okay I'm just gonna go back here keyframe it there go back and make it zero Okay, there we go. Now, just easy ease keyframes. U and U, whoopsie. And U to get rid of the keyframes. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open up the keyframes again. Sorry, guys. And I'm going to go to the point where it's splitting. So it's right here. Like So right now, it just looks like it just uh, cut. It didn't split yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new solid. Control Y, stroke. Not stroke, as in I'm having a stroke, as in a 3D stroke. Then I'm going to type in 3D stroke. I'm not going to drag it on just yet. And I'm going to go to proportional grid again. And I'm going to get my pen tool. Now I'm going to mask right here. Oopsies. Got to make sure you start from here. So here, here to here. Then I'm just going to click off whatever. And then make another mask here there I think yeah and then just click off and I'll make another mask here here and there okay and then click off again now I'm gonna drag on 3d stroke okay and as you can tell their colors and shit and I'm gonna type in star glow if you guys have star glow it's a nice uh, add-on to this and I'm just gonna make the streak like down to 8 and then I'm going to type in glow again. Not star glow, just glow this time. And just drag it on to my solid again. And I'm going to bring the threshold up to 80. So it's less. Then I think I'm done for like effects there. Now star glow, I'm just going to go to um, the preset. And I'm just going to make it blue because I like blue. Okay, now what I'm going to do is offset. It's the one that does this, right? Okay, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit S for, on my keyboard. And I'm just trying to remember. I'm going to unlink these. Okay, yeah. I'm going to make the X scale to 0 and the Y scale just leave it. Then I'm going to go over 1, 2, 3, 30 keyframes. So when the thing's completely out, the, the split is completely out, I'm going to make this 100. And actually, you can make it a bit bigger. I think I might make it. Um, a bit bigger, like um, 125 sounds reasonable. Okay, then what I'm going to do is when I'm here, I'm going to keyframe the offset, go over 20 keyframes, 20 sounds reasonable, and make the offset to 100, um, as much as you want to go until it disappears. Then we're going to trim it up so everything is completely trimmed up, and there we go. So now I'm just going to turn off my proportional grid again. And I'm going to hit U. I'm going to find where my first keyframe is when it starts to split in. Uh, why can't I drag my mouse over? Okay, I'm just going to click here. And I'm just going to drag the second clip to line up around that area. So there's more of the second clip to watch. So now if we just go through this quickly. Oh, I need to make this fade out. Sorry, I forgot about that. Go to this keyframe, to the engine point hit T on opacity and then go over 
uh, 20 frames. That's what I, I think I used. And then hit zero. So then it's just the arrow that you see when the arrow comes in. And I'm just going to trim the layer. Okay, now, so if we go through here, and I'm just going to trim up that work area. As you can see, we have that. Splits into the next clip. So my alien word just got really freaking loud for some reason. I don't know what that was. But yeah, it looks pretty sweet. And you can add some really cool effects to this to the 3D stroke and to uh, your splitting clips. You could have like a nice little glitch effect happen behind them. So you could like uh, add in the glitch effect underneath them. And yeah, you can do some really cool things. So that's about it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. And um, if you guys don't mind, could you go go ahead and check out my uh, the Team Force edit that I did? It hasn't really got that many views for some reason. Like in the past when I uploaded um, an edit, like the bitch edit, it got a lot of views like right from the get go. So if you guys could check out the Team Force edit, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, that'd be great because I don't know why it doesn't have that many views. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. And I'll talk to you guys sometime soon with another tutorial. See you guys. Bye.